Hey everyone, thanks for jumping in, whether you found your way here through the email or through the Lifebringers at Canyon Ridge Facebook group. Uh, we're glad that you're here and we hope you're inviting other people along. Just a community of people who care deeply about what God is doing in Las Vegas and beyond through the people uh, of Canyon Ridge. Uh, so last week, we picked up on this conversation about multiplication and what it means to multiply and this kind of biblical precedent all across the story of Scripture uh, that this is what we were created for and it's what we're called to. In fact, this last uh, weekend, we uh, did something that we've been doing off and on with a small group of folks. People who have been thinking a lot about multiplying groups uh, and helping one group start another group, start another group, start another group, and watching people uh, engage together around the scripture, around celebrating what God is doing, like obeying in costly ways, and then sharing what God is up to in a way that the gospel moves forward has been so good. And so uh, we actually uh, had a great conversation with uh, Erin Johnston, our high school pastor, about some things that are happening in her high school ministry and in uh, her life around multiplication. We spent about an hour together with a few other leaders, and we mapped out the different groups, the way they relate to each other, and then just kind of stepped back and looked at multiple generations of groups and asked, what is God up to? What are we learning? What are we seeing? There were some cool things that we're learning, some cool things that we're celebrating, so I want to share a few of those things with you. Here's the first thing she noticed. We saw that amongst our high school groups, we've got tons of emerging leaders, young people who are ready to go and to multiply themselves. And so one of the biggest realizations for me seeing it all mapped out was how many young leaders we have emerging in our church to go out and to continue multiplying in their spheres of influence. I'm stoked about that. That's so great, right? <laughs> it's, it's so exciting to see leaders emerge, especially these teenagers, students with unique places of influence, faces and places that they get to point in the direction of Jesus as they obey what Jesus is saying, share what he's saying, and invite those people into great conversations around uh, what God is doing. So we love celebrating that. We learned a lot of other things along the way. Check this out. Um, and so as we were talking about the map today and all of these leaders and what's it going to take to push them to the next level, we talked about this, this difference between consuming and activating. And I think a lot of our emerging leaders are kind of on the cusp still where they're still spending most of their time consuming. And so I, as a coach, need to uh, activate these leaders to help activate the kids and the emerging leaders in their group to, to go and to be kind of pushed out of the nest, if you will. And so that's my biggest learning is that's kind of the bottleneck for us right now consuming versus activating, and we just need to take that next push outward. The conversation we had that day and that we're continuing to have about consuming versus activating, it's both, right? We receive from God, we're shaped by God, we're shaped by others, but there comes a moment where we take what we've received, that we've discovered in the scripture and with other people, and we take that and we share that with others in risky ways. And so I love the, the call to activate all that God has brought into our lives. This is, this is our vision for people, right? That this is God's vision for people. That not only we celebrate and are shaped by him, but we put into practice what he says, and we multiply that by sharing it with others. Aaron highlighted one more really big distinction. Check this out. I would say um, one of the biggest things is the difference between multiplication and addition. Uh, I think that we have been a people, I, I can speak for myself, who's really, really good at addition. And it takes a total mindset shift to start thinking about multiplication. And so just seeing this mapped out as I, as I, as I coach these leaders, helping people understand, and I'm still learning and still coming along, and the difference between addition and multiplication is powerful. The distinction between addition and multiplication is worth exploring. It is not a condemnation of either one. It's not a choice between bad and good. It's a difference between good and great. And Jesus invites us to great. He calls us, created us for multiplication. We will see you soon on a weekend or here on the vlog or online. We'll see you soon.